Hello everyone and welcome back to a brand new Pokemon TCG video. Today guys we're going to be taking a look at a deck revolving around a very unusual Pokemon. I uh, want to start off by saying that this deck is by no means competitive. It's a fun type of deck so pretty much the main sort of attacker in our deck is going to be the Rhyperior. We're going to be focusing on using his Rock Shower attack to uh, hit for a devastating amount of damage to each of our opponent's bench Pokemon. So by using Rock Shower, we flip a total of 3 coins, and this attack does 20 damage, times the number of heads to each of our opponent's Pokemon. Now, um, so this means that, if, in theory, if there were 6 Pokemon, a Rhyperior could hit 360 damage in a single turn, which is a massive amount, of course. Um, but uh, chances are that, from time to time, we're probably not going to be getting the maximum number of heads. However, um, we're actually going to be using the Rhyperior in combination with our Dusk Noir to sort of shuffle around the energies and just get those big knockouts. So say, again, this is just a theoretical sort of uh, example in that if we did have our opponents have a total of 6 Pokemon in their bench and then we hit for 360 damage, our Dusk Noir could rearrange those energies and cause a whole lot of devastation big big knockouts with the sinister hand ability Duskmore is very very important to this deck um, I mean otherwise our opponents I mean it's sure Rhyperior can hit a whole lot of Pokemon for a whole lot of damage but it wouldn't be enough to knock them out I mean we'd have to repeatedly attack a lot with Rhyperior ju which just isn't practical so that's why Duskmore is actually going to be included in this deck so we're running pretty heavy evolution line so we are running a 2-1-2 Duskmore line and we're running a 4-2-4 Rhyperior line um, also, given the fact that our Rhyperior takes a lot of energies to actually get going, we're going to include the Landorus with its Shout of Power attack. We can retrieve those uh, fighting type energies from our discard pile and then latch them back onto our Rhyperior or just uh, use it to actually set up our Rhydons, for example, or our Rhyhorns. <coughs> before we actually do evolve them into the right pair. So Lander is a pretty important Pokemon. We are ultimately running two copies of him in our deck, and we're also, of course, going to be running a single copy of the Halucha with the uh, Flying Press attack. I mean, a single energy can dish out a whole lot of damage to our opponent's EX Pokemon. Pretty nice Pokemon. Um, it's nice to have him, especially while we're slowly setting up our whole... Um, Rhyperior sort of line, so Halucha, we are running a single copy of him, and of course, since we are reliant on our Rhyperior's flips, we'll be running a total of two copies of the Victini with the Victory Star ability. Again, this is just to try and get the maximum number of heads and dish out the maximum number of damage. Now, um, given the fact that our Rhyperior's attack cannot unfortunately be increased to dish out more damage to our opponent's bench Pokemon, we're actually going to be using cards such as the Strong Energy regardless, because with Strong Energy we can still increase our Rhyperior's attack to dish out a whole lot of damage to our opponent's active Pokemon. So say for example our Rhyperior has a total of 3 Strong Energies and we only get a single head, well then we're still able to hit 80 damage to that active Pokemon and we can still uh, and another 20 to each of our opponent's bench Pokemon, so it is kinda nice, we'll still try to increase the total damage output by our Rhyperior, so we'll be running cards such as Strong Energy and a couple of um uh sorry and a couple of uh fighting stadiums as well just to increase the whole damage output our deck is a very very tight fit though so unfortunately i couldn't fit in any sorts of tool type cards so we are running of course a total of 12 energies eight of them being fighting and four of them being strong energies but let's go on and actually discuss some of the item cards that we are running in our deck so we're actually going to be running the computer search as our a spec card um reason being is that it's pretty important for us to be able to draw onto the right cards at the right time. So if we were to use our Karina, we could, in theory, of course, get both a uh, item type card and one of our rock type Pokemon. But unfortunately, we can't grab out any of our Dusk Noir line or anything like that, for example. And we can't grab out any of our Stadium cards. So that's why Computer Search can come in handy. So we are ultimately running this as our A spec card. A very nice A spec card. Um, you guys could potentially swap it out for Dowsing Machine. But I feel like this has been having a little bit more successful with respect to this deck. Um, some other item cards that we are running, guys. Of course, a total of four rare candies. Just because we're running some very heavy evolution lines. Ideally, we can sort of skip the Stage 1 line and then evolve into our second stage Pokemon right away, so we're running the maximum number of discards. Work extremely well with our Karina, so um, four rare candies. We're running uh, one switch and one escape rope. Our Pokemon have some massive, massive retreat costs, so um, switch and escape rope is actually going to be very, very useful, especially when our Rhyperior happens to be our active Pokemon, because I mean, I believe he has a total of four as his retreat cost. Uh, yeah, so four energies as his retreat 
guys. That's massive. And we're not even focusing on using the stone edge attack. So those cards are very important. You guys may even want to increase it to a nether switch or possibly a nether escape rope. But I felt like this should be enough. Just given the fact that our deck is such a tight fit. Um, some other cards that we're running, guys. Of course, the Starling Megaphone. We are reliant on our Victini's flipping uh, ability. And, of course, our Dusk Noir's energy shuffling ability as well. So... We are ultimately running a single count of the Sterling Megaphone in case we do happen to face a Garbodor type deck. We're also going to be running a total of two Ultra Balls. Again, um, we are running three Karinas, but um, not all of our Pokemon are fighting type Pokemon. Of course, I'm referring to our Dusk Noir line. So two Ultra Balls are kind of nice. So we are including them in our deck. We're running a total of two VS Seekers, a single Colorus, three Corinas, one Lysander, four Ends, and four Junipers. And that's pretty much it, guys. So these supporters are pretty self-explanatory. Not really going to discuss them any further. So with that, let's actually go and see this deck in action. Um... Again, this is by no means a competitive deck. This is a fun type of deck. So, um, you shouldn't be, shouldn't be too surprised if, uh, this deck is a little bit hard to actually set up. Um, but it's very, very fun once we actually do have our Hyperior out and our Dusk Noir and we can just shuffle around all those energies. Um, this deck is incredibly cool. You know, that Hyperior could dish out such an immense amount of damage. It's pretty unbelievable. So... Um, okay, so I think I'm going to start off with the Rhyhorn as our active Pokemon, and I'll probably be using the N. I'm probably not actually going to attach a Fighting Energy to him just yet, because um, I think we may uh, get some more important Pokemon. And let's go and lay down our two bench Pokemon, which are absolutely crucial for us later on into the game. So it looks like our opponent is running a bit of an unusual deck. So Kangaskhan EX and the Reshiram, so I'm not really sure what sort of a deck this is. So um, uh, let's see, and uh, thank you very much. And good luck, my friend. So, um, sorry, my mic is actually on my keyboard just because I like to keep it a little bit closer so that my voice is clearer. And, um, good luck as well. Sorry. And, okay, so, um, looks like I am just lagging a little bit. Looks like my messages are taking a bit of time to reach. Um, I think I sent them, but, um, let's try again. Okay, so, TUI and good luck. I must have been pressing something else. Uh, looks like my, mes my messages weren't actually being sent to my opponent. So, um, okay, so it looks like he's actually going to grab out one of his uh, white Kyurumi decks. Again, our opponent's running a very unusual deck, which could actually be kind of nice because we're not exactly running the most uh, competitive deck either. So, um, okay, so I'm actually going to go and attach a rock energy to our right horn. Mm, that Kangaskhan EX shouldn't be able to knock us out, but I don't think that's still the wisest choice. So I'm actually going to use the Karina to grab ourselves out a benched Rhyhorn. And um, possibly what else should I grab? I'm actually going to grab out a computer search or... Uh, sorry, just trying to think, guys. Um, you know what? Yes, let's go right ahead and grab a computer search. Not really sure what I may need later on into the game. So let's go and lay down that Rhyhorn and attach a fighting energy to him and with that we are going to end our turn do want to get our Rhyhorn line set up nice and early um, because then uh, first of all that Kangaskhan EX is going to take double the amount of damage due to that fighting weakness which is kind of nice but I'm thinking our opponent's Kangaskhan EX may actually retreat and he may bring out one of his bench Pokemon again I'm not really sure why my um, why my messages got deleted uh, before but um, kind of weird, but it's okay. I'm not really complaining. So our opponent's actually not going to um, further on his Kangaskhan EX. So let's actually go and evolve into the Rhyperior. And um, I'm actually not going to lay down the Victini just yet. I don't really think we're going to need him. So let's actually go and hope for some new energy cards. Okay, so let's go and attach another Fighting Energy to our Rhyperior. And unfortunately with that, we will have to end our turn. I could absolutely... Um, get rid of that floatstone attachment using our studying microphone. I'm not going to use that yet uh, because I'll probably be using our Juniper on our next turn. And since we, I will be using a Juniper, in case our Victini does get Lysandered out, I'm actually going to go and lay down this uh, Victini as well. So, as I mean, our opponent is slowly loading up his bench, which is nice for us because then our Rhydon, sorry, our Rhyperior will be able to dish out more and more damage. Our opponent's actually going to use the N. And okay, so no energy cards yet, but I will be placing down another Rhyhorn and then we will be using the Colrus. Hoping for just one more energy card, and then our Rhyperior can finally get to work. So our opponent's actually going to 
Um, random receiver into Lysander. Okay, but uh, luckily none of his Pokemon can actually knock out our Rhyperior just yet. That uh, White Kyurem though could dish out a whole lot of damage to us with his White Inferno attack. So hopefully I can get my Dusknoir as well. Um, normally I would use the Karina to actually grab out an Ultra Ball and the uh, Rare Candy, but um, our Rhyperior is actually not ready to attack just yet. So let's actually go lay down another Rhyhorn and lay down the Fighting Stadium. If I get a card such as Switch, I could potentially knock out that Kangaskhan EX in a single attack. So let's go and use the Colorus and see what we get. Awesome. Okay, so let's actually go and lay down the other Dusknoir, use the Escape Rope, and see which of the Pokemon our opponent actually decides to bring out. Okay, so it looks like it's going to be a Reshiram. Let's go and bring out our Rhyperior. I will go and attach the um, Strong Energy to him, and then uh, let's hope that we get some nice flips. So, um... Three, oh my goodness, I could not have asked for anything better. And no, I will absolutely not flip again. So a massive amount of damage that we've already hit each of our opponent's Pokemon with. So, um, and we've just managed to knock out one of his Litwicks as well. So that's 60, 120, and 200 damage just in counters right now, guys. Which I can absolutely shuffle around as soon as I actually do get our Dusknoir ready to go. So, um... Hoping for that, uh, wow, so I did not expect such a nice flip right off the bat. I mean, we could not have gotten anything better. And uh, let's see, so that looks like that uh, White Kyrie Max is getting ready. Our opponent is actually using the Frozen City gem to get that White Inferno to potentially do some more damage. Again, though, if I do bring out our Dusk Noir, um, our opponent may just end up regretting it. It looks like he's actually going to lure out our Dusk Skull, but I don't think he's actually going to be able to do any damage to us just yet. I will actually be getting rid of that Frozen City gem because I do want to continuously attach some energy cards to our Pokemon as well. Don't really want to be taking any damage counters for that. So let's go and lay down that Fighting Stadium. And um, I'm actually going to go and attach an energy card to our Dusk Skull and then retreat him. So, uh, um, and we will actually Lysander out that uh, Kangaskhan EX just because I think we could potentially knock him out. Actually, he does have the Float Stone as well. Could be a bit of a gamble, but uh, we're going to go for it anyway. So let's go and Lysander out that Kangaskhan EX. Use the Rock Shower attack. And uh, let's flip again, hoping that we can get something a little better. Okay, unfortunately not. Still though, we have been able to knock out that Kangaskhan EX and dish out some more damage. So um, that right pair is actually looking quite menacing right now. Um, seems This deck seems to be performing quite well, but again though, it's a fun type of deck. Absolutely, this is not consistently going to be how this deck is going to perform. Um, I, that White Kyurum EX could knock out the Rhyperior though if our opponent does decide to bring him and looks like that is going to be the case. So I think I'm going to bring out one of our Rhyhorns temporarily and um, I'm probably going to use the Juniper eventually. Not sure if I want to use it just, just yet. Again, a Dusknoir would be quite nice because we can shuffle around the energies and then knock out that that white Kyurumi X or the uh, Reshiram depending on what we would actually prefer to do. So let's see who our opponent actually decides to bring out. Again that white Kyurumi X is looking a little bit menacing right now though because he can hit us for 200 damage for a single attack. That's more than enough to knock out any of our Pokemon with Rhyperior being the most powerful Pokemon we have. So our opponent is actually going to end down our hand which is actually kind of nice. So we will actually be able to use the Juniper on our turn. Another Frozen City gem is actually going to come out. So I will be bringing out one of our Rhyhorns. Again, that uh, Dusknoir is pretty important, so I'm hoping to draw onto him soon. So let's actually go and bring out a Rhyhorn for now. Um, and unfortunately, he will be getting knocked out. Let's go and attach a uh, Strong Energy to our benched Rhyhorn. And unfortunately, we are taking some damage due to that Frozen City Stadium. Let's go and use the Juniper and see what we draw onto. Okay, so um, I could knock out that White Kyurum EX, um, but I would have to actually sacrifice quite a bit of cards in our hand. So let's actually go and use the Computer Search to get rid of... Um, so let's see what I actually want to get rid of, guys. Um, okay, so I, VS Seeker is the one card that we're going to keep in our hand. So let's actually go and grab onto one of our rare candies. And then let's go and use the Ultra Ball to discard our Victini and unfortunately our Rhyperior as well to grab out one of our Dusk Noirs. I do want to get rid of that White Kyurum EX, uh, absolutely the most sort of devastating Pokemon that we are encountering right now. I don't think I can actually win right now though, um, 80, no, unfortunately I can't. If I can knock out that Litwick as well though, we can cause a massive amount of damage. So let's go first and get rid of that White Kyurum EX and then draw onto two of our prize cards. Um, and again, afterwards, I'll just need to lock out um, the, um, sorry, we'll just need to knock out that Litwick. Again, my opponent hasn't lost just yet, though, so let's draw onto two of our prize cards, and let's see which of our opponent's Pokemon he's going to bring. 
Um, and uh, sorry, this mic being on top of my keyboard is extremely annoying, uh, but I can't really do much about it. Uh, just because I do want to hopefully get my voice as crystal clear as possible. Um, and uh, let's see which one of our uh, which one of our opponent's Pokemon are going to come out right now. I will be shuffling around the energies though, stacking them onto the Litwick for now, because that Reshiram, uh, what is Outrage Attack, is able to dish out additional damage per um, sort of damage counter that he does have on him. And as same thing with, the, with that Kyurem, so let's go and bring some of those damage counters to that Litwick. Let's lay down our Landris as well. And with that, we will have to go and end our turn. Um, things shouldn't be too bad from here on out. We just need to hit a little bit more damage and then use the energy shuffling with our Dusknoor and then we are able to win. Our opponent's actually adding more damage counters to himself by using the Frozen City Gym um, and sorry, Frozen City Stadium I believe, just Frozen City, um, my apologies, and he's going to end down our hand as well. So okay, let's go right ahead and evolve the Rhyhorn into the Rhydon and then let's get rid of those... Um, the damage counters on our opponent's white Kyurumi X. Let's store them onto the Reshiram just for now. Again, if our opponent does attach one more energy card, though, to any of his Pokemon, um, he will be losing the game, uh, provided that he can't actually evolve his Litwick just yet. So um, let's see what our opponent's actually going to do. Certainly a dilemma. Only one prize card remaining for us to actually be able to win. Our opponent needs five more prize cards, so chances are that, unfortunately, our opponent can't make a comeback from here on out. I mean, our uh, Rhyperior caused a massive amount of damage early on into the game. Uh, the initial flip that we had, the three heads, was just massive. And, um, okay, and uh, looks like our opponent's actually going to kill himself. So, um, I, I guess this is going to be the game, guys. We will be shuffling around the energies and getting rid of that Litwick. Un unless, um, again, our opponent can actually evolve it. He did just use the Juniper, though but I don't think we're actually going to see the evolved form of Litwick come out. So it looks like this is going to be game for us. So let's go and knock out that Litwick and then draw onto our very last prize. So if you guys did enjoy this video, um, please be sure to hit that like and subscribe button and uh, let's just see what we actually draw onto. And it looks like it's going to be 10 coins. Again, thank you, thank you guys very much for watching and I will see you guys next time.